Welcome back to my kitchen. Today first I will be making some salmon burgers and because I am on a diet I also will be counting the calories. So the first thing I'm going to use is going to be canned salmon and uh, these canned salmons do have bones in it. So keep that in mind. So if you don't want the bones, you may have to pick through it. Uh, the first thing I want to do though, I want to drain the liquid off of this. Because I don't know if I'm going to use that yet or how much of it I'm going to use. So when you take this apart, bone it's gonna be in the middle so take that out but there could be still bones in here into my salmon I'm gonna add an egg oh lots of cracked black pepper I'll have a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of dried parsley, and I'm going to chop up some green spring onions as fine as possible to your abilities. I got my green onions here. It goes into the mix. For the dry ingredient, you can put in um, breadcrumbs, like with any other kind of loaves that you would make. But in my case, I'm gonna use uh, corn mix. And I'm actually only gonna use a half a cup of this again because I'm measuring calories I need to make sure that I know what I'm gonna put in and how much but you can just eyeball it as far as how much you're gonna put in and see if I need to add any more liquid We need to make this cohesive so it sticks together. And it looks like I won't need to add any liquid so I can dump this. I'm just gonna mix it up real well to incorporate all the ingredients. I can actually take a taste to make sure there's enough salt. In addition, I'm gonna put in some vegeta, this uh, vegetable mix seasoning, just a little bit. Making sure that it doesn't get too salty, right? Because I already added salt and this also has salt in it. I'm gonna heat the pan on high. Start out on high and then I'm gonna put it down to medium. And I'm gonna try to use as little oil as possible because this will soak up the oil. And I'm just gonna start with one tablespoon. What I'm going to try to do is make about four servings out of the can of salmon. And it might be more than that, so let's see how big they come out to be.
So you make a ball and then flatten that out. Not too thick, not too thin, just so you can fry up each side nicely and it's gonna be cooked in the middle without making it fall apart. that over a little so I can fit them all in here. Once it's sizzling just like that, then you turn it down to medium because you don't want to burn it, you just want nicely browned and at the same time you want to cook it through the center. So we cook it on one side, I would say for about uh, three minutes and then we'll check on it and see if I can turn it around. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. Turn it down a little bit and I'm gonna add a little more oil, just a tiny bit, maybe a half a tablespoon. Not even that much. And we'll fry this another other three or four minutes on that side. While we are frying the, the salmon burgers, I'm gonna make some sauce to go with that instead of mayo. We're gonna use sour cream. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of sour cream. Maybe a good teaspoon of wasabi or you can use horseradish a little bit of lemon juice i would say maybe a teaspoon if that much a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper black pepper and about a teaspoon of sugar just to balance the lemon my salmon burgers. Each of the burger patty is about 280 calories based on the ingredients that I put in. And the sauce that I made for it will be 30 calories per serving. My dinner rolls are 140 
calories each. I'm gonna put a nice amount of sauce on it. Take one of these. And of course, I'm probably gonna put a lettuce and uh, tomatoes on this as well. So all together with the homemade uh, roll and the sauce, the burger and some lettuce, it's 450 calories for the whole meal. Enjoy!